guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a haul from Trader Joe's. I have not been to Trader Joe's since January, so I was excited to go today. Picked up a bunch of stuff, and I'm gonna start off by showing you the frozen and refrigerated products, and then I'm gonna put it away, and then I'll show you the pantry and non-grocery items. So, starting back over here, I grabbed my two bags of chicken cilantro mini wontons. My husband and I really love this, these, and I use these for my wonton soup. I use about a half a bag um, for each recipe, so we really, really like these things. I also grabbed some mini beef tacos. I used to buy these and I haven't bought them in a long time, so I decided to buy some for our lunches because my husband is working at home because of the pandemic, and then I stay at home full time with our six month old baby, so I figured this would be a quick lunch for us. I grabbed some mushrooms because I plan on making some beef stroganoff. And I also grabbed some um, broccoli florets and also some broccolini. I will say that their produce did not look that good. I was really disappointed in their produce. And then I also grabbed a bell pepper because I need that for a recipe that I have coming up. Grab some fish sticks for um, quick dinners or lunches, not sure which one. And by the way, our what's for dinner videos come out on Tuesday if you're interested in see what we eat, interested in seeing what we eat during the week. I also grabbed some shumai. My husband and I really like these uh, pork dumplings. And then I also got the chicken variety as well. I got these soup dumplings for my husband. He really likes soup dumplings. Um, and of course he loves them from the restaurant, but um, I got him the chicken soup dumplings and I also got him the pork and ginger soup dumplings. And you make these in the microwave and you get six in each box. I grabbed some string cheese because I need it for a recipe uh, that I'm going to be making. And then we also really like their Kung Pao chicken. Now Kung Pao has peanuts in it, but the peanuts do come in a separate package. And we do not like peanuts in our food, so I never put the peanuts in here when I'm making them. So just FYI if you're not crazy about peanuts or if you have peanut allergies. Also grab some shredded green cabbage for uh, my egg roll in a bowl. Um, I've become obsessed with that recently. And then I've not seen this before, onion and chive cream cheese. I mean, I've seen, um, is it Philadelphia cream cheese, their version, but I've not seen the Trader Joe's version. So I really like onion and chive cream cheese and I usually spread it on crackers and just have it as a quick snack. Another thing that my husband and I really like are these tarts. So whenever I go, I always get the ham, onion, and Gruyere cheese. And then I also get the flatbread with mushrooms and cheeses as well. We really like these. Now I will say you're not gonna get full off of these. So I like to have it with typically like a salad or something like that because it is really small and it's very, very light. So you're not gonna get stuffed off of it at all. And then the last refrigerated item that I picked up was the complete Caesar salad kit with croutons, shredded Parmesan cheese and dressing. I plan on making probably like a um, chicken salad, Caesar salad, so that's what I bought this bag for. So this is it for all of the refrigerated and frozen stuff. Let me put this away and then I'll show you the rest of the stuff. So here is part two. So I picked up some of their gourmet bread. I have gourmet actually white bread. I've never bought their bread before. Um, I bought it in their huge slices because I plan on having um, grilled cheese sandwiches. I have a bunch of cheese in the fridge that I needed to use and grilled cheese is a quick lunch. I also grabbed a couple of packages of taco seasoning mix. Now I will say, I didn't actually need taco seasoning mix, but if you have never had their taco seasoning, it is so good. The um, These were 79 cents each. You get an ounce and a half in a package and you only use half a package per ground of, per pound of ground meat. And I don't know why, but it is the best flavor out of any taco seasoning that I've ever had, like Ortega, Taco Bell, you name it, so good. And so I grabbed two of those. I also needed some olive oil spray. And then I got my husband and I a bunch of different nuts. So he really loves cashews. So I got him some coconut cashews. It was a 14 ounce package. I think these were 
$6.99. And then I think also these pistachios were $6.99. Um, and they are, it's a 16 ounce package, it's a pound, and these are less salt, dry roasted pistachios. And then their new flavor, and I got two packages of those, are the garlic and onion pistachios. And these are 13 ounce packages, I think they were $6.99. Um, my husband really likes honey mustard pretzels, and so these are new. These are actually honey mustard and onion, and so I grabbed him a package of those. And then he also really likes plantain chips, specifically these jerk plantain chips. So I grabbed him two packages of those, and then I have been wanting to try these scallop potato chips with five cheeses. It just sounds really good, so grab that. Also grabbed this creamy tomato basil pasta sauce. Sounded really good to me, and we have a ton of pasta in our pantry that we need to eat. And then I have been wanting to try this. This is their sparkling strawberry juice beverage. And so I didn't read it very well. I thought it was sparkling water, but it's actually, as you can see, the first ingredient there is sparkling, I'm sorry, is strawberry juice. So that sounds really good to me. My husband's not a big fan of strawberries, but I am. So this is right up my alley and I cannot wait to try it. I got a couple of their baking mixes. I really like their baking mixes. I actually did a video on their lemon bars. So if you're interested in that, I'll add it in the cards above so you can check it out. But I got their vanilla cake baking mix, and then I really like their truffle brownie baking mixes mix as well. And these mixes were $2.99 each. And then let me show you the non-food items, food items that I picked up. I grabbed this hair serum and it is shea butter and coconut oil and it helps to tame frizz and add shine. And it is a 2.75 ounce bottle. And then I was so excited to see their lemon, I'm sorry, their strawberry lemon sugar scrub, eight ounce bottle. The last scrub that I bought from them was their ginger and I'm still using that, it's in the shower. Um, but it smells really good. And then I also got their um, strawberry lemon ultra moisturizing hand cream and I took it out of the box so that you guys could see it. It's a three ounce package or three ounce little tube I should say and it smells so good and they also had I think they had candles there too. I didn't grab a candle um, but they had candles there too. Just one type. I can't remember what it was but anyway this is everything that I picked up from our Trader Joe's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. That really helps our channel out. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.